Chiefs, Chiefs Bucks, the Sunday night game. We're not sure where that game was going to be played. Grant was actually going to be down there. I'm surprised. It's I thought gonna he was going to go try to go surf in a surf in a hurricane just to say he's done it because Lord Man Grant. Mm-hmm. That's something he would do. But Chiefs are a one point favorite. We're not really sure what's going to happen with this game. There have they said there's going to be a decision by Friday, but what? How we how we feeling going into this game? I don't know what the. Well, I'll let you talk while I look and see what the uh, what the status is of some of the uh, injuries on the Bucks. Well, like I said, as of right now, from what I know, feeling cautiously optimistic about this game, just because the Bucks aren't. They might not have some of their guys. No Julio. Um, no, you know, Chris Godwin, Mike Evans coming back from suspension. But even when those guys have played this year, this Bucks offense hasn't had the chemistry that that you need with the Tom Brady offense because he's such a timing based quarterback. And also, Tom was under constant pressure last weekend all day from the Packers. I mean, everyone except Tristan Wirfs on that offensive line is getting is getting getting their ass chewed out by their offensive line coach and Todd Bowles because they can't protect the quarterback. And like what I said earlier, when the chiefs, you know, chiefs, you know, five sacks this year against the, uh, you know, the Colts, they had another four week one, you crack um, Justin Herbert's ribs weeks two. I like the pass rush that these guys are generating. And when they're blitzing, they're one of the best blitzing teams in the NFL this year. So I think, If they continue to do that, they can get home quick, make Brady get the ball out fast and have um, this passing offense with not a whole lot of chemistry continue to possibly struggle throughout the week. All you got to do is make sure this you got to you got to double team like I mean, praying to the football gods, do not let Legereus need or. uh, Watson cover him one on one. You got to You got to you got to put two people on Evans and just make Brady throw to some of these other guys he just doesn't have any chemistry with. And then, and then on the other side, facing this Bucks defense, that's, that's, no, that's, that's not an easy task to do because they're big and, they're big and they get after the quarterback this year. So they're going to they're gonna make the Chiefs earn it. Um, but earlier how I was saying, you know, if the Chiefs want to commit to the running game and they got to stop doing these RPOs, this, this week might not be that team you do that against. Um, because you look at Green Bay's first two drives, when they went down and they scored, it was a lot of good RPO action, and you were schematically getting guys open because Tampa Bay loves to play man coverage. So uh, just you know, hopefully that, you know Andy can put some stuff like that together and figure it out. But the big thing is, is can you keep Patrick upright? If you keep him upright, I like your chances in this game. And if you don't, and you let Shaq Barrett and those two young linebackers and Devin White and Levante David come. Actually, it could be a long, long day, and it could be a low-scoring game in Tampa and or in Minneapolis here, wherever this game is being played. Yeah, well, so and I have the injury report. It looks like Russell Gage was the limited participant. Chris Godwin was limited. Team Nix was – Hicks was limited. Or, no, he was a DNP. He was out. I think he's out for a couple of weeks. Okay. And then Julio, which Sean Payton was saying on the herd on Monday – just said that for Julio's sake, you could just put him as questionable for the rest of his career. He practiced Correct. limited. And then Donovan Smith was also a limited participation participant. So there we'll see. It's only, it's the first day back of the week. So maybe that trends in the right, in the right way for Tampa, which makes this game much better and a really good Sunday night game. We'll see. But yeah, Tom Brady is, great he is he is when he doesn't have anybody to throw to or nobody to block for him he he looked like pat mahomes in the super bowl in super bowl 55 where Mm -hmm. just nowhere to go and he's not as uh believe it or not he's not the athlete pat mahomes is and then also if i one thing i'll be interested to see if the bucks do this because they're two good drives they had against the packers they went fast they went they went up tempo they didn't give the packers a lot of time to communicate and switch and, you know, change personnel over the years, the one thing, and this is what the Chargers do really well, which always gives the chiefs trouble. They always go fast. You know, I'm not saying they don't do a no huddle, but when they huddle, it's very quick. They're in and out. They don't change personnel. 
because on the Chiefs defense, they have a lot of communication. Nick Bolton's got to talk to a lot of people up front. Juan Thornhill in the back, he's got to get everyone lined up. The communication is key. So I'll be intrigued to see if the Bucs maybe want to go a little faster again so the Chiefs aren't totally set. So then they can try to get some easy yards um, because Tampa is, you know, like, as I said, they're struggling this year on offense. So if they maybe go a little faster, keep it simple, have, you know, uh, Tom call plays at the line of scrimmage where the Chiefs can't substitute, that might be a, um, a disaster for the Chiefs and a good thing for the Bucs to try to win this game.